Tim says, a month ago, an external company invited me to view their SharePoint folder. I accepted and not having 365 in the company yet, I created a personal Microsoft account using my work email. Mm. A month later, we all know where this one's going. Yep. A month <laughs> later, well, well, because we're all reading the same question as we also know, <laughs> but we know the story as well. So a month later, my company moved to 365 and I gained a Microsoft business account still with the same email. Mm -hmm. Now, whenever that same client shares things with me, I can't access it with my new business account. Their tenant seems to be tied up with my old personal Microsoft account. Yeah, this is this has been an ongoing thing. It's some of the first questions when I joined this group uh, came up and I had a I could relate to this personally because I did this exact same thing I, prior to a, a prior employer. Joining Microsoft 365, I used their domain-based account for creating one. So there, you have to understand there's two, and this is what I learned. I it was like three months of going back and forth with the support people. Nobody could answer my question. And I, I finally figured it out. And, you know, the fact that I had to go into um, the Microsoft admin and I figured it out, that was one of my big feathers in my cap because that's not my space but you have a there's two ruling entities for microsoft accounts and that's why when you log in it asks you is this a personal account or a worker school account and those same emails can live in both of those spaces you can create your microsoft account just like you can use google or yahoo or any other email account and create a microsoft based account for your personal use and then they have the one when somebody creates a tenant using that and you log in and that one, that one's in the enter ID space. Um, the, the trick to this is I had to go in and try and delete my personal account and it kept reverting and it, and it deleted the registry out of my, um, the business based account. So you have to be really careful. The first thing I'm going to tell you to do is change the, e the if you're using the same password, change the password on the personal account so you know which one you're using. And when you log in, always log in using that. Now, there's another new change that's putting another spin on this. If this was a Teams folder, it's saying it's a SharePoint folder, but I'm wondering if it's tied to Teams. The new community, free community Teams automatically redirects to live.teams.com instead of Microsoft or teams.microsoft.com instead of live microsoft.com so see where it redirects to and that could be the other problem is they're trying to share a teams based folder with you and it's redirecting you to the other like the, again it's like the personal version versus the business version so it's, uh, you're not the only one this has happened a lot we get this question all the time yeah but, what it, I, oh go ahead Dal. i was going to say what i've heard uh, from others is if you have a case where you've got the same email address, go into the personal account, add an alias, make that the primary. Oh, that's and then a good, you're no yeah. longer sharing. Then you're no longer sharing that the email address. You still got the personal account. Um, it just has a new alias. And that's your primary and. It takes care of the problem that was that's a result of people who have again, going back to the Microsoft world, have got a uh, um, a business account and a personal account with the same IDs and they logged into Teams and Teams can't really figure out which one, which one's which. And it, 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 it denies improved a little bit. It's Different improved a little bit. Yeah. Um, you know, Cause like, it, it's, it's interesting. So having, I have four different emails, four different, tenants and the logins there and there's some other problems is uh, uh, again there, there are personal issues with uh you know my my primary account not logging into the new outlook the new teams uh except through the browser because it's it had a difficulty there but <laughs> what i've noticed is um you know what i've noticed is when i log out of you know one by one out of those profiles uh in the new teams client um when i remove those primary tenants, it then defaults and switches over to the new community teams. It opens up and then I, at the final thing, and I've got an old Hotmail account that I use for that stuff. Um, it, 
it will then I then can log out of that community based teams product um, with with my hotmail. So it's it's just interesting that it, it you know you so you can you should be able to be logged into multiple tenants. It should be able to reconcile between them and the free version. And the benefit there of being logged into all of those, except of course, in my case with my primary environment, which was the first one, which has been in existence before all of the others, but somehow gets rejected from the new teams and new outlook. I'm not bitter or angry or anything. Anyway, um, it, it's, it's interesting. It does a decent job, uh, except for that of switching in you know, between them when I, you know, this is, this is an improvement. Microsoft has had a lot of feedback. So that if I get five meeting invites and when I click on them, you know, the old way is that it would just not work or not work properly with the full features because you're logged in the wrong ID in the wrong tenant, kind of all those things where now it, it asks you do you want to switch tenants? Do you want to go to the place with the best experience? And for the most part, I won't say in all cases, it work, <laughs> that works pretty well. Yeah. I, I actually think there are different profiles. The prof prof yeah, the profile, as I say, <laughs> I had actually went, messed up my profile with Office, like completely with trying to do the switching and it just got a real mess. And eventually I had to completely log out of just everything, like it just everything everywhere and eventually I got to the point where it got all such a mess that I had to recreate a profile on my laptop yep. and actually go in with a new laptop and blast away the whole other profile because it had some real issues between the yeah. two. I was going to say the exact doing... same thing. I had, I log into my computer with those separate profiles, Windows yeah. space, but and then but you also have to purge the credential manager because mm. it does cache all those web based and right. machine based credentials. Yeah. And I put links for that in the spreadsheet for you. Um, we we were just talking uh, about this earlier this week, Sherry and I, about that issue specifically. But it's a look I, and I, again. I'll just reemphasize that it's there's still work to be done by Microsoft on that. Um, and they used to think it was an edge case, this scenario. And and a lot of MVPs were like, no, this is much yeah. more common than you think. And it's pretty standard. You know, you, even the, the, the typical information worker um, working with partners, working with clients, working with nonprofits. I mean, now, you know, as teams, especially gets broader and broader usage, um, different organizations using it, we, like, you're almost the the uh, the the oddball not having multiple logins. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have I have I think a last count fourteen different logins between my own my own my you know my son's business and then also all of my clients. So I've got eight it's, different it, logins we're, on my we're, computer. We're not you're you're just trying to show <laughs> us all up, Sherry. You've got more <laughs> friends than all of us. We get it. No. It's crazy. Well, and and the whole the whole Windows Hello doesn't work for me because it's the same face going to all these different profiles that are on my computer. I can't, you know, I've still got to use passwords or pens to get into those because it's the same face. It's just which hat am I wearing today? Can, so. can you? Do, would it work if you have for each of your profiles make a different face? <laughs> make <the> face yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put glasses on, different glasses for each. <laughs> this is my the, the Superman company a. versus the Clark Kent. Yes, Clark Kent, Superman. Because <laughs> he doesn't look exactly the same without the glasses. Uh, really? I look the same. That's the same for me without makeup. No one recognizes me. <laughs> I got some Yammer glasses at the uh, MVP ah, conference. Ah, so did I. Yes. How bad. did you? The official Yammer glasses. There you go. I love it. We'll have to get a screenshot at the end or something. Go find our Yammer glasses. <laughs> if you're logging into uh, to a profile that's specifically to work on social stuff or get into Viva Engage, you have to wear the, the Yammer glasses. <laughs> and Viva Engage won't let you log in with the personal account anymore. Hasn't for some time, which is unfortunate because I've I've got two or three different teams, channels, whatever, a bit that have been abandoned because I can't get in there with my personal account, with my MSA account. Yep. Yep. I've understood and I heard this morning though that, that that may be changing. 
but they're going to go be back wonderful. And that. Yeah, that would be fun. Well, I can't access the community questions because it's to my personal account instead of my business account on the same email address. So that's how I have to access all the community questions. Well, I made the mistake of when Microsoft offered, uh, you know, the MVPs, like, please confirm which email that you want to use as your primary. Yeah, I had the same I thing. I didn't respond in the time frame to get it away from my Hotmail and move over to my, my Collab Talk email. Uh, which I should have, so I continue to have issues where I'm doing work and 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 uh, oh, there's a PGI call, and then uh, <laughs> I can't get into it because it's I'm on the wrong ID and yeah. Anyway, stuff yeah, happens. That's 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 interesting because on that 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 that, that as you were suggesting there, um, I have one. In this case, it's an Outlook.com account that I use, and that's the only place I use it for is to, as as authority to get into, uh, the uh, my my MVP stuff, uh, and um, Teams. Well, no, not to, the, the just the MVP stuff and uh, the various forums mm -hmm. that I go and answer questions at. The idea being is that uh, that email account doesn't get used for anything but just an authentication. It doesn't receive or send email. Correct. Right. Uh, the one that I I list as here's how you communicate me is the other one, the uh, at live.com account. And uh, you get into the same the same thing. Um, they'll you'll be doing something in the MVP world and they'll say Give us your email account. Well, which one do you want? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I switched you know, mine from Hotmail was... to Outlook and it broke everything. Yeah. Wow. Because because Hotmail is just a garbage dump. I get probably 200 spam messages in there a day that well, it's like, can't Microsoft do a better job of understanding? Well, right. This is not well, that's a what really my, my Hotmail is only, only for my MVP. And so I get yeah. all the notifications that I can't turn off. All of it goes there. I never, I don't read. So I could get it and I can access the mailbox. And I look at it maybe once or twice a year. And it, I go in and just delete everything. Because that's all yeah. it is. It's it's my login. And so in some ways, and I, and I use my other garbage account as my Gmail. That, that's where I, if I have to give an email to sign up for something, it's Gmail. <laughs> if it's MVP related, it's, it's Hotmail. And that keeps all that garbage out of my collab talk email. So it kind of right. works out.